good kitten internet. There's a kitten right over there that you can't see on camera. But I swear, she's a good kitten. Anyway, um, hi. I thought I would play something a bit newer than normal, since I know somebody's commented that I seem to only ever play older games. I do actually play newer games from time to time, including Boo Kitty crying. She's been crying for a while now. Um, before I start playing, I want to show you the totally awesome shirt that my partner bought me it's for gift miss. It's right here. It's an Astral Vaporeon! This shirt is so awesome. My partner is my biggest fan, so this is my first fan gift, I suppose. No, no probably not. But anyway, um, so I want to play some Pokemon Let's Go. And right, trying to start the game with... That's the screenshot button. So um, one of the problems with Pokemon Let's Go is that you have to use these if you're docked. I normally play portable just because of how bad this is. I think I need to go grab another nunchuck. Uh, in fact, I'm going to do that. Let me go grab that and be right back. Arg. <clears throat> this is what I get for trying to do a setup where I'm actually going to be comfortable instead of unwrapping everything. Grab the other one of these. Okay. There we go. Put my headphones back on so I can hear. Um, I have to keep one ear off because technically I'm on call. So <sighs> I have to make sure I can hear the phone ring. No, I don't want to update. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, just listen to that track. <laughs> this is really weird. It's not actually balanced properly, so I'm pointing directly at the screen right now for reference. This is me pointing off way off to the right. I need to remember how to rebalance that. Anyway. Do, 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 do. What was it? Options. Controller settings. I would love to be able to use something else. Yes, yes, I know. I'm supposed to use the strap that I am totally using. Anyway. Let's go ahead and move along. Oh. Well, Evie's got something for me. <gasps> friend has a present for me, so I named my Evie Friend. So, I should back up. This is Pokemon Let's Go Evie. It's a remake of Pokemon Yellow. And with very cute Eevee. Very cute. Eevee happens to be one of my favorites, so you'll have to forgive me for obsessing over how cute Dude, look at how cute that is! Though this feather is beautiful, it's a regular feather and has no effect. Oh. Well, that means I need to give you more attention. Little cherub, it's so awesome. Oh, actually, let me. Let's go ahead and give you a pineapple. Oh. 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 Mm. So, um. Ah, that's how I recenter. There we go. This makes more sense. Okay. Um, so. One of the things that this game ends up doing is it basically combines Pokemon, as in Pokemon Yellow, with Poco, with Pogo. So, I'm, I'm actually can't remember where I'm at anymore. Uh, a friend of mine started um, 
grinding and so on, so I'm not actually sure. I think I'm in the cave on the route to Lavender Town, I want to say. Anyway, I kind of ran through this before, so... I was trying to rush while I was in, uh, on vacation to try and get to a point where everybody can transfer a Pokemon. And, well, I didn't get there. So, yeah. Friend is also awesome. Just look at that cute little man. Really, I just have Kangaskhan because you can ride in Kangaskhan, and I'll show you a little bit more on some of this current area. Also, friend is super overpowered. Because that also heals. And of course it does. Oh wow, is my frame rate really that bad? I really hope it's not that bad. Hopefully this isn't horrible frame rate. I really don't want to have to re-re-re-re-re-re-record -re 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 this. Anyway, so you'll see that I'm... My Eevee's in the pocket of Kangaskhan along with Kangaskhan's baby and I'm riding on the shoulder. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, so um, one of the features of Pokemon Let's Go is that you can trade po That's... I did not realize there was a Marowak here. So, um, yeah. So this is how, which we call it, throws in that portion. So let's go ahead and get Great Ball out. Ready? Throw. So... The way Pokemon Let's Go works is that all of the encounters with random Pokemon work more like they do in Poco, though you literally throw Pokeballs at things instead of doing them. And initially when I had heard about it, I was a little concerned about um, how this ends up working, because it sounded like, I don't know, less of a Pogo game to me, but I really like how this ends up working. Uh, you can avoid every random encounter if you just move around them type of thing. And I now have a cubo. So you can do things like that's the cry. Rotate around to see how cute Cubone is. It's pretty cute. And then take a look at those are the attack moves. It's a dodge it's a growl move. That's really all that Cubone does. Or that yeah, Cubone does. And put it in the pogo box. Uh, which, if I remember right, if I go into my bag and take a look at the Pokemon box, I can find Cubone! These are all the Pokemon I currently have. Um, we've gone through and eliminated a lot of them. So, in this, you can check summary. And where I'm at in the game, it will actually tell you, by using the judge feature, how good it is. This is a tier 1 Pokemon, it has okay stats. Um, I'm probably just going to transfer this Pokemon. And these are its attacks. Um, with its... where's it at? Uh, so its nature is mild, which means that it has increased special attack, decreased defense, is it? Or is it the other way around? I'm not actually sure. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and transfer this one. Send. Yep, you can send coupon. And I received a tough candy. So yeah. I really like just riding on King's Town because it's so cool. I found a revive on the ground. Um, otherwise, as you see, the Eevee kind of here, let me um, change party up have a different person following me. Uh, let's have... Sure, let's have Pikachu follow me. So we take Pikachu out of the Pokeball. 
And now, Pikachu follows me. I mean, I can't ride Pikachu, but it's still pretty cool. That's ah, an Onix. Yeah, everything's the scale, by the way, if you couldn't tell from how freaking huge Onix is. I don't know if I can get around yet. I'm gonna have to get capture Onix. You kind of just timed the throws. There's not really much to it. So if you've ever played Pokemon Go, this should be really familiar to you. And I'm not good at it, unfortunately. Because depth perception in a 2D game does not work for me. So it will actually run away on its own. After a period of time, like that. Well, that was a waste of a bunch of... Oh. Okay, so that was that. And... I mean, this is a dungeon I've been through before. Ah, oh, I noticed that Pikachu is running ahead of me right behind me. Which is interesting. Yeah, yeah you're somebody party. Oh, how are you doing, Pikachu? Sniffing at the ground, okay. I think I need to... Oh, that was a gold bat. So the red thing means that they are really big. So it's huge. So your throws are good, great, and excellent. Um, it's just somewhat similar to how Pogo works. You get XP based off of how many throws it took. Uh, whether it's big or small actually gives you an XP bonus in this game. And XP, rather than being trainer level like in Poco, it's your Pokemon level. More like a regular Pokemon game. I really don't remember where I'm at, unfortunately. I'm probably going to need to backtrack to one of the two entrances. Entrances slash exits, so I can remember. Is there where it looks familiar, at least? I'm assuming I have not encountered you before. Yeah, that's what I thought. I have food. Um, do you have a Pokemon cosplay? So this is a trainer battle. Trainer battles work very unlike Poco and much more like actual Pokemon. Challenge by Black Belt Steam, bringing out the shop. I know you briefly saw this, but I wanted to explain now that I'm So, I have my six Pokemon. Kangas Khan is currently in the front for me. So, Machop is fighting type. Um, Darkness, I'm terrible at remembering the order of what's good and bad against things. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Uh, let's change. The problem is I barely remember what's strong and weak against things on a good day. Let's go ahead and bring out our guy. Is Arcanine's fire or is it fire normal? I know fighting type is strong against fire. Let's get launched into orbit. As you do. And now I will light you on fire. Get launched into orbit again. How about you get some more damage? So, in this game, unlike Pokemon Yellow, for instance. So yeah, unlike Pokemon Yellow, for an example, um, XP share is enabled, which means that whenever you're in combat, 
whoever's in combat with you gets full XP, whoever is out of combat gets partial. I don't know if it's half or what, but partial XP. I'm obviously not an expert in this game. Yeah, this was a bad idea. Uh, I really don't have a good party for this, do I? I am Pikachu from our own. Anyway, this game kind of makes me smile. Because, while. Well, so. I have a weird relationship with Pokemon. The first Pokemon game I played really was Pokemon Red. It was the first Pokemon game released. But I played it well after this. And it was that. I never owned a Game Boy. My first portable console was a Game Boy Advance. And my, my first actual console was an NES, so I was never allowed to have a portable console growing up. So, is creating a costume like a Clefairy costume or dressing up for fun? FYI, I'm cosplaying as a black belt. Um, so yeah, my experience with Pokemon is, well, emulated. I think this is the entrance. I'm pretty sure this is the entrance. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, the next Pokemon game that I played was Pogo. Many, 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 many years later. Yep, this is the entrance. Which is fine. I just wanted to get out of here. So I can show off more of the world. So I'm roughly midway through the game, maybe a little bit on the earlier part of midway. Here's Lavender Town. Okay. Let me first go to the Poké Center. So, I'm, as I mentioned, I'm midway through, which means there's a possibility for some spoilers. Um, I'm going to try to avoid the major ones. I'm not going to go do a bunch of plot-related things. I'm just mostly showing how cute everything is. Also, I love how they use the original graphics here, although colorized original graphics, but still. They like keeping it in pixel art, which is nice. Your Pokémon should be all better now. Oh yeah, so I wanted to show more details on my party. So this is Friend. Friend is the Pokemon I started with. Friend is Rash. But when you judge Friend, you'll notice that Friend has perfect of every stat. Yep. I'm pretty sure that's always in every game. That your primary companion, whether that be Eevee, in the case of my game, or Pikachu, in the case of Let's Go Pikachu, will always have perfect stats. Um, let's see. Do we order moves? Yeah, you can actually see what their literal stats are. The IVs, or invisible values, is what the rating is for. Pikachu, on the other hand, how is Pikachu? Summary. And Judge. Pikachu is okay stats. Not the greatest. Okay. I don't think my Pokemon are actually all that great, to be honest. Oh, no. Actually, Arcanine has really good stats. Perfect special attack, perfect regular attack near perfect, or actual perfect, uh, I don't know. Words are hard, but anyway, really good stats. So, uh, here's the Kanto region world map. This is where I'm at. This is actually where I need to go, which is Saffron City. Um, Fuchsia City is actually where you can finally trade Pokemon from um, Pokemon Go to Pokemon Let's Go which is where I wanted to get to begin with. And also, I have a boo kitty here. Okay. 
So, this is the route that I wanted to walk on. And I've done a little bit of this already, but not much. Yep, Clefairy evolves when it's exposed to a moonstone. So, Ooh Kitty, you're kind of yanking the headphones a bit. Just reposition it slightly. She's on my lap right now. I don't think you can see her. So I'm trying to avoid... Um, yes. So, for those of you who have played the original Pokemon games, it's that I don't have cut, I have chopped down. And the reason for that is that the game was smart in how they made things. And, um... Normally, you have to teach HMs to your Pokémon to deal with things like trees in the way, or surfing, or stuff like that. In this case, your Eevee learns them and doesn't count as a move, which is really nice. Challenged by Ace Trainer Kyla. sitting directly on the headphone cord. I'm just going to unplug the headphone cord and fish it out from underneath the bikini and then plug it back in. That'll work. There we go. Ooh, I got five Ultra Balls from the Ace Trainer. Nice. you end up fighting and encountering trainers. You look good at Pokemon, but how's your chemistry grade? Because I believe this is a... Super Nerd! Super Nerd Iden. Tell Super Nerd because we're playing that Pogo with the tablet. Anyway. Okay, this is bad. I 
save the game is not that hard as I'm just dying to do. Okay, from my hat! Okay. We have way more different special cards. I mean, I think water is strong against poison, right? That's just like it. Ah. And your quote-unquote special Pokemon are really overpowered in this game. I feel like I'm beating up kids for their lunch money. This game is weird in so many ways. Okay, I've definitely already fought you. Once you start, you just can't stop. I'm just gonna go back to healing because I'm being lazy. Or, not lazy, but cautious. I re also really like how they remix the music in this. Most of it, at least. There's a couple of them that I don't particularly like. Um, how am I doing on the recording? Let's probably slow it down again. If it's not already slow this entire time, I really don't know. I cannot tell how long I've been recording at all. Great. Now I know the setup does not work very well. I was kind of afraid of that. So I'm actually using my uh, one of my desktops to record because one has power, more powerful CPU and two, my laptop isn't doing so great right now. In fact, I actually have a new laptop on order that should be arriving hopefully soon. That is a huge Pidgey. Um, ooh, nine tails. Not nine tails. Um, Fulpix. I'm pretty sure I already have. Be informed. You need strategy to win at this. I do. I can't even remember what's strong and weak against things. You're challenged by Rocker Glenn. You can tell he's a rocker because he's got a mega bow. Yeah. Jolteon. What is with this evolved stuff? I don't understand. That'll be strong against electric types. So, um, the general story of Pokemon Let's Go and also Pokemon in general. Come on. Yeah. It's basically you're a young kid, you live in whatever the first town is. Decide you want to become a Pokemon trainer. That's pretty much it. Um, what you're trying to do is fill your Pokedex. You want to catch them all, just like Ash from the anime. Rock slide! Rock fall, go again, guys. Oh, not quite. Oh, I actually don't want to do more power. Good object. Yep, that Jolteon's really fast. Oh, yeah, it is faster. I can check them. That would make sense. That's power 50, accuracy 90. Power 75, accuracy 90. Double oh, okay. kick. It's super effective. down on top of my headphone cable again. And I've beaten Rocker Glenn, who's apparently Spock in disguise. Anyway, what do you have to say? Not much. 
Okay, and that's apparently where I would go down the ad rather than around. We're showing off our Pokemon. Do you want to try? I bet both of you at once. Nope, just last Megan. Sent out Pikachu. Pikachu's cute. Not as cute as Eevee, but still cute. So, since you're electric type, that means switching to Graveler again. I should probably change up my party a little bit because I'm a little unbalanced right now. But Kangaskhan, you can sit in Kangaskhan's pocket, so cute! Whenever I'm on call, I think I'm cat. Come on. Um, whenever I'm on call, I tend to not sleep very well. Because I'm consciously trying to make sure I'm listening to the phone. Like better when pricing it. Look what you did to my poor cute Pokemon. You're the one that challenged me. I would have been perfectly happy with not challenging you. Saffron City's gatekeeper won't let us through. I know he's doing his job, but I think he's mean. Meowth is so cute! Meow, meow, meow. Hey, I bet I know what Pokemon this one's gonna have. I bet it's Meowth. Last Andrea. Send out Meowth! Who would have guessed? I don't know why I want to look up this Machop, I just apparently do. Oh, Machop! Uh, and Meowth will use Payday. That's fine. Flames are scattered everywhere. Fight. And which one is more powerful? You are damage equal to the user's level. Yeah, Karate Chops can be better for me. Fury Slides! Oh. Ooh, that I could. It's on Chop! And you're done. Oh, two Meows. Uh, you might actually. Oh, Meow Meow Meow. You have three Meows. I'm gonna switch because Chop is kind of low on hit points and Friend does have a fighting move after all. And yeah, I know I named my Eevee Friend. I call him better. But just look at that cute I can change Eevee's outfit as well, by the way. Double kick. Did I flinch? Flinch just means that you lose your turn. Uh, but they can only take out for the first turn. Oh wow. So this is going to be a bit of a slaughter. Chop leveled up though. That's important. Yeah, you should learn the break break. So Pokemon can only know four moves. And whenever you learn a fifth move, you get to choose a move to not learn. Um, so yeah, that's a lot more powerful than Karate Chop, or especially Bide. Bide is a pretty terrible move. So let's focus energy for that matter. And Bide! Chop Rock forgot Bide, and Chop Learn for Break. Hey look, it's a Meow, who would have guessed? Uh, no. I'm not gonna switch. Three kitty cats. My house. Put in the face. Meow. You get five hundred. 
100, and I picked up 125 from the previous coin toss, which threw money on the floor, and I got three Pokeballs. I think Pidgey and Rotata are cute too, I can't make up my mind! Yeah, I may not agree with Pidgey and Rotata. Okay, so that's Celadon City, Lavender Town. Here there's a sleeping Pokemon causing trouble near Celadon City. I bet it's a Snorlax. My headphones keep falling off of my head. And I have a kitty right here. I found an X accuracy. That's a one use item that increases accuracy temporarily in combat. They're not very useful items. I probably should be writing. Yeah, let's go write Arcanine. They got a book. Oh, it won't let me ride Arcanine indoors. That's sad. Do you go often? Oh, you know what I mean. To the department store and sell it on City. They sell all kinds of things. It's very handy. There's Arcanine. See? I'm riding... I'm riding a big puppy. I do like how you can't read the sign from the book. Yeah, let's play with friend a little bit. Oh, you look flustered. Okay, this is really the best part. I usually play with Evie until she makes the little trilling sound. switch out of Arcanine, because as cool as it is to ride Arcanine everywhere, it's really hard to control. Um, let's go with Pikachu out. So, um, Pokemon Let's Go is actually cooperative multiplayer. It's kind of set up as though, um, what should we call it, kind of like a parent with their kid. So, you can have a second character on the screen, and they move around, have their own Pokemon following them, but they're really a part of your party, and you are the one deciding things. How many gym badges do you have? Okay, can I have three or four? No. Ace Trainer? Ace Trainer event! You can tell they're an Ace Trainer because of their pose. Raichu! I don't have a Raichu. Well, this is not going to be good. My Graveler is a bit damaged right now. So I think what I'm going to do is heal my Graveler. Uh, I only have one potion. Uh, I've got some potions on mine. Heal Graveler. I'll let Kangaskhan take a hit. It's fine. Kangaskhan has tons of hit points, so that works. Switch to Graveler. Dig my way out on this. Yeah, strategies. I mean, I guess at one point I could actually do a recording of my Pokemon Go. I actually do have the setup to be able to record off of my phone now. But there's not much of a reason to in my mind. Quick attack. You hit me for three. 
There's not much reason to, because then I can't be out and about. Not to mention, it's basically winter here. It's cold outside. Dig again. Oh, that was a critical hit. <sighs> but yeah, this is another type of relaxing game for me. Mostly because of on memories. Not really childhood memories. I mean, yeah, I didn't play Pokemon Red until I was in high school. And it had come out years before that. This was not... I played it when I when it came out, but I had to emulate. No, this was many years later. Doug Trio. Yeah. Wait, is it rock type? Strong against ground type? I think that's the case. Which, in that case, I should have a good party for this. Hello, Doug Trio! I also have a Doug Trio. Earthquake? Oh dear. Yeah, that hurt. I think we're both super effective. Or not. It must be the other way around. Well, see ya. So, you're definitely ground type, so I'm not gonna use Pikachu. Um, really, friend is probably my best choice. Friend is strong. Friend is strong. Hi. Yes, I know it's double kick, but you can hit it twice. Ooh, pretty bit wishing to be praised. Well, you will be praised. Or friends, I should say. You will be praised. Yes, you all so deserve praise, Boo. Oh, huh, you're stronger than I thought. Hee hee hee. Ooh, five ultra balls. Meow. There's a gym over in Celadon City. Do you plan on going? Well, I had a request. <laughs> Suddenly startled by a gust of wind. Oh, I'm sorry. I am petting Boo at the same time as I'm petting Inky. That is an awesome and adorable pet. Anyway. Oh. Pikachu found something. Pikachu is smelling the scent of grass. Okay, Pikachu. You're silly. Um, you should heal up a little. don't like the way that they handled the controller thing, though. I wish I could play with an normal controller. Oh, I was actually... Oh. 
Nope, you're a regular one. Okay, there isn't anything there. You're on the other side of a passage that I've already been through. Dear, I think I gave my that poor guard too many pewter crunchies to eat. I'd rather dry if you don't have any tea or anything to wash them down. I'm on guard duty, and I take my duty very seriously. But gee, am I ever thirsty. Wish I had some tea to drink. Oh, hold on there, kid. I'm afraid I can't let you pass. So, basically, the guards won't let you through until you have some tea to offer them. But I think once you offer it to one of them, all of them get it. That's a lot of cute things. And, yep, the city's right there. But... Small path between towns. Teehee! Route 7's nice, right? You ready? Yeah. Let's play an ensemble called a Valium. No, let's play Pokemon Let's Go. So these are coach trainers. Coach trainers will teach you a move. Or give you a move, I should say. Far-fetched! Hey, duck! King is gone. Uh, so, let's see, Leak Duck is normal type, so... Ideally, I would be using a Machop. Okay. Just because you think it's time to go doesn't, yeah, doesn't mean it's time to go. Facade? Or Facade? Whoa, okay, this might be a bad idea. Nope, I'm down. Yeah, we're chopping it. Well, that stinks. I mean, the chop is lower level, but still, that's really powerful. Um, I'm going to heal. I'm going to revive the chop. And the reason why I like reviving Pokemon that are down is because they get full XP that way. If they're unconscious at the end of battle, they get no XP. Yeah, that is pretty powerful, isn't it? Um, at... Let's use some rage. So, Rage for reference, as long as this move is in use, the power of Rage attacks, uh, raises the attack stat each time the user is hit in battle. So basically, the more often I'm hit, the power, more powerful my Rage attacks are. I can't take too many hits like this. Let's go ahead and heal.
Usually these tra uh, coach trainer battles are actually fairly difficult, and I'm also, I think, slightly in the level. Wiggly Tough act I'm assuming I learned facade. And how often it's being used. Is Wiggly Tough actually normal in this, or is Wiggly Tough actually fairy? Can you be lit on fire already? Fire! So annoying. I have to take two more facades. Friend has really high stats, but defense is not exactly a strong suit. Her strong suit. I think Friend is actually. Okay, yeah, I do have decent high stats. And yeah, Friend is female. Okay, so bouncing bubble will actually let me heal a little bit. And I'm just session. Give all the money to me. And I'm assuming I learned facade? No. Or facade because they don't have the correct, yeah. It's a spunky move that deals double damage and if the Pokemon using it has a status condition. Okay, that's not all that useful, but whatever. And we are now in Celadon City. And this is basically what I wanted to do, was get to a city and then go, okay, I'm done for now. Uh, let's talk to the people in here first. Poke flute, it wakes sleeping Pokemon. It does so with the sound only they can hear. <laughs> I'm Madden Celadon. I'm the one who could look into your future and see the encounters that are to come. Shall I foresee the nature of those fateful allies you have yet to meet? I just charged 10,000 Pokecoins. Like to know your fate? No. So what that does is it actually changes the next set of Pokemon that you encounter to have a certain type of nature. Sin. If I had a Pokemon, I would go to Pokemon Road 2. Good for you, kid. I'm here to collect a lot of Cantonian Vulpix. If you have a Vulpix, please trade it for my Vulpix. Yes, please. I am absolutely going to trade you a Vulpix. Let me make sure. Good stats. Great stats. Amazing stats. I'm going to trade the higher level Vulpix because you'll notice that it's not the same color of a Vulpix. So these trades in Pokemon Let's Go actually give you the Aeolian version of whatever Pokemon it is. So this will give me an Aeolian Vulpix, which is one of my favorites, and I have a shirt of it right over there. I will show you once Uki decides to get up again because she just settled in my lap. Vulpix. So, there is my Aeolian Vulpix, which is an ice type, which I don't have an ice type, do I? I think I actually want that in my party. Not Pokedex, that's not what I meant to hit. Uh, bag, Pokemon box, most recent one I got, oh, it's up here. And to party. Let's drop 
as cute as it is to walk around with a Kangaskhan, I think it's time for me to swap Kangaskhan out. And I will put in a Vulpix. Also, I wanted to see how good Vulpix actually is. So, you're gonna go out of Pokeball. Check Summary. You have good stats. What is with that set of stats? Oh, you know what? Whatever, it's fine. Ah, I can keep trading. I forgot about that. That's handy because I think I much prefer the cute Vulpixes. And this is where I can teach my Eevee moves. Hey you, want me to teach you a marvelous move to Eevee? So these are the moves that I can teach Eevee. Baddy Bad I assume is dark. Elbow? Yep, Baddy Bad is dark. This is where I got Bouncy Bubble from, for reference. All of the alliteration moves. Um, I can really use something other than Helping Hand, but... I want to learn something other than Bouncy and Bad. My Dark type's not going to be that hard. Let's see, Glow? Is that Lightning? Or is that Buzzy Buzz? I bet Buzzy Buzz is Lightning. What's Buzzy Glow? Elbow? Psychic. Yes, please. We can, okay, so Helping Hand goes away because it's not a very good move anyway. And friend forgot Helping Hand. Hello, Glitzy Glow instead. Build a marvelous relationship with your Pokemon, okay? Oh, I'm gonna go heal up here and then stop the stream. Or recording, I should say. I'm not actually streaming this. I just really hope that this is really recording because I don't want to go through this again. <laughs> go. All my Pokemon are all better now. And this is where I will save it. Save. Okay, so I have three badges. And I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, let me know if you want me to play more Switch games. I do own a few. And that's the wrong button. And that's also the wrong button. Hey, <sighs> And I need the other controller, which is out of no it's over here home buttons on here so yeah let me know if you want me to play other things i do own fire emblem warriors breath of the wild and also mario raving rabbits um that one i'm saving for a while just because i'm still playing it through xcom 2 war of the chosen and they're very similar games so i still need to show you the other totally awesome shirt boo kitty needs to get up off of my lap thank you grab the other shirt to show off. So, let me alt-tab back into my remote desktop connection so I can sort of aim. This is the other shirt. Oh, cat! <sighs> I see Zone is not the only one with a destructive tail. So this is the shirt. It has cute little Vulpix down there and an Aeolian nine tails in the sky. It's pretty awesome and icy theme and everything. And I almost wore this shirt, but I figured since I'm playing Let's Go Eevee, I should wear an Eeveelution shirt like I am. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, it probably doesn't make for the most interesting of things to record, which is why I wasn't planning on doing this repeatedly, but hopefully it was interesting enough. Good night, Internet. I'll see you another time. Wow. Boo will also see you another time.